I love riding on real mountain biking trails. And with some of the most amazing views and challenging features, Horse Thief's Bench out here in Fruta, Colorado is one of my favorites. We want to leave no trace, but sometimes we leave an impact from regular riding mishaps. Trails get wide, and beginner instincts to go around technical spots can just make things worse. This one area on Horse Thief has spread out to around 30 feet wide, and I don't think that qualifies as single track anymore. And so many riders have ridden to the left of this step down feature, it's turned into an alternate trail, but it's caused damage. You'll notice that the trees on the left here are pretty much dead. Trails don't just build and maintain themselves, and without organizations like COPMOBA, we wouldn't even have trails to ride. Without members, donations, and volunteers, they wouldn't be able to consistently build and maintain the trails. And without maintenance, we run the risk of losing access to the public lands. You can donate, but even better, donate your time. Volunteer. Maintenance days are well organized. In conjunction with the BLM, COPMOBA coordinates the supervision and the tool hauling. But the ATV can't go everywhere, so hikers will carry tools in, and bikers will strap them to their backs, and there are usually a few trailers that we can take to the bikes. They can even handle some of the sketchiest trails, but we usually leave those to the more skilled riders to take that handicap. With tools like the pickaxe, the rock bar, and the rock slings, along with the basic shovel bucket combo, can pretty much cover everything, but it's really the volunteers that make it happen. It can take a lot of manpower to build even the smallest features, from planning, rock hunting, prep, rock moving, and construction, these are big jobs. They also love rider input. If you have an opinion about the trails, best way to be heard is to show up and work. If you ride, volunteer. And when you do, it not only benefits you, but it helps the local community thrive, especially if you live in a mountain biking destination like Fruta. And if the human impact gets too out of control, the agencies like the BLM would cut off human access. No one wants that. We put so much money, effort, and time into our bikes, our equipment, training, and riding. What good is all that without having the best trails? COPMOBA, they work really hard to make the trails sustainable. And when building new features or restoring wide spots back to single track, they try to do revegetation to make it look as natural as possible. So, when you see a barrier like a big boulder or a branch or bushes, please don't go through. Stay on the trail and follow the line as much as possible. Whether you walk it, ride it, or bomb it, stay on the trail. And most riders were thankful for our work, but there were a few that were upset that we ruined their favorite line or made something too easy. To be clear, yes, the projects were to help the intermediate riders on the harder sections, but we were also very conscious about leaving the hard line for those who still want to hut their meat. We just don't want riders walking around or riding around or crashing too much. The best part about volunteering? Beer and pizza. This first effort was sponsored and organized by the Hot Tomato, which seriously has the best pizza and they're serious about giving back to the community. So when you're in town, maybe order another pizza and a few more beers. Not that I really have to tell you to do that. So donate, volunteer, get involved, and most importantly, get out and ride.